before anything gets manufactured at our state of the industry facilities. Before we can help you win the race to increased productivity, before we can help with all of your big picture challenges, it's important to take a closer look at every small detail, even if it's only four micrometers in size. The yeast cell. Even though many consider it to be man's oldest industrial microorganism, we're still learning about its untapped power. For thousands of years, civilization has used yeast cells to ferment or break down carbohydrates, which has in turn produced useful compounds. But the yeast cell also promises to provide many health benefits, leading to its use in biotechnology. During fermentation, yeast cells break down carbohydrates into simple sugars, like glucose. Glucose is absorbed by the yeast cell as fuel for reproduction and other metabolic requirements. This process liberates a variety of byproducts, including carbon dioxide, alcohols, organic acids, peptides, amino acids, and a number of refined functional carbohydrates. Several of these nutrients are processed into finished product, commonly referred to as yeast culture, and used in the agricultural industry as feed additives. Products such as Amex, available from Arm & Hammer Animal Nutrition, have been shown to improve feed efficiency year-round and maintain performance during heat stress. But apart from what the yeast cell can produce during fermentation, what it's made of holds the key to its further use. The yeast cell wall is made of a series of layers. Above the cell membrane is a protective coating, a complex of beta-glucan and mannan oligosaccharide, which are tightly bound to proteins. These carbohydrate structures promise an array of health benefits. But the yeast cell does not readily give up these powerful compounds, which are crucial to cell function. So how can we cleave these compounds accurately and systematically from the cell wall? How can we generate a high level of bioavailability of these compounds? Through state-of-the-art bioengineering research, the answer has been found in enzymes. Enzymes are biological molecules that accelerate the breakdown of compounds. There are thousands of known enzymes. Like a lock and key, only a unique enzyme can unlock a unique bond. Naturally occurring, they aid in processes like digestion. The specific enzymes capable of breaking down the yeast cell wall are not highly available in the mammalian or avian gastrointestinal tract. In other words, we're not realizing all of yeast's health benefits. However, through enzymatic hydrolysis, precise use of specific enzymes within a controlled environment and concentrations, we can unlock these specific valuable components from the cell wall and make them highly bioavailable. After establishing the proper environment, we introduce an enzyme specific to unlocking mannan oligosaccharide from the yeast cell wall. Mannan oligosaccharide has the ability to bind to the pili of certain disease-causing bacteria, such as E. coli and Salmonella, a constant risk for livestock. Secondly, this long sugar chain has a prebiotic effect. Once all mannan oligosaccharide has been unlocked from the cell wall, another specific enzyme breaks some of the moss into its individual building blocks, D-mannose. The primary benefit of D-mannose is that it feeds the indigenous population of beneficial bacteria in the intestine, which are essential in promoting intestinal health. Secondly, it too has the ability to bind to the pili of pathogenic organisms, Next, another specific enzyme separates the glucan layer of the cell wall. Once liberated from the cell wall, beta-glucan plays two major roles. Its physical chemistry allows it to bind to many mycotoxins, preventing them from negatively impacting livestock health and performance. Second, these specific beta-glucans from the yeast cell wall play a crucial role in placing the immune system in a state of readiness. This now completes the enzymatic process, but there is a final step which utilizes residual organic compounds called amines to synthesize yet another compound. The end product of hydrolysis is combined with the end product of fermentation. This introduces the residual amines to refined functional carbohydrates synthesized during fermentation.
These readily bind to each other to form a compound which appears to interfere with various parasites, including crypto and emeria, commonly known as coccidia, leading causes of gastrointestinal disorders in livestock and poultry. Through fermentation, yeast cells produce many nutrients, but it is only through further refinement of yeast cells through enzymatic hydrolysis that we can unlock even more of what yeast has to offer. By then mixing the results from each process, we produce Selmanax, which includes the benefits of yeast culture, plus the power of refined functional carbohydrates to provide producers an economical solution for a more productive life cycle journey. By now it's clear that even the little things make a big difference. That the road to productivity requires careful attention to every small 4 micrometer detail. And that it's always important to work with a partner who's completely focused on animals first. Productivity always.